Your jet engine catches fire at 35,000 feet. You get two shots to put it out, no more. After that, you land fast. Every engine on an Airbus or Boeing jet is fitted with fire detection loops inside the nacelle. If heat crosses a set threshold or the pilot suspects fire, they pull the fire handle. That one move shuts off fuel, hydraulics and bleed air to that engine in seconds. Then comes the big one, Halon. Each engine gets two Halon bottles. Pressurized tanks filled with Halon 1301 gas designed to flood the engine bay instantly. One shot per bottle. If the fire doesn't go out after the second hit, there's nothing else on board. You land immediately. These extinguishers aren't like the ones in the cabin view. They're stored in the fuselage, routed by explosive squibs and fire within seconds of activation. There's no spray and pray. It's precise, pressurized and binary, fire out or not. Pilots are trained to handle engine fires like checklists on fire. Fire detected, isolate, bottle one. Still burning, bottle two. Still burning, you're on borrowed time. That's why twin engine aircraft can fly with one out, but not with one burning. Jet engines are built to contain internal fires, but only up to a point. Two halon shots, that's all you've got. So, what would you do when the second bottle's empty and the fire's still glowing?